According to the Voice of America, Texas Republican Congressman Keith Self said that, long-range artillery is more important than F-16s for Ukraine. As I already told President Zelensky when I was in Ukraine, I believe that the Ukrainians need long-range artillery more than F-16s. I do not understand why we do not provide them with attacks ballistic missiles, they can be missiles of the first block or the second. These missiles are launched from HIMARS installations, which the Ukrainians already have. Therefore, I believe that artillery is more important for Ukraine than F-16 fighter jets, he said. At the same time, Democratic Congresswoman Madeleine Dean from Pennsylvania believes that Ukraine should be provided with everything it needs as soon as possible, but on the condition that the weapons will not be used to attack Russia. I am very pleased with the administration's decision to train Ukrainian forces to operate F-16 fighter jets. My personal request to the administration is more, more and more. More of everything that may be needed. So that we can be sure that Ukraine will win this war and will do it sooner rather than later. So that we can save lives, save their property, save the culture and everything valuable that is Ukraine, she said. Dean added that Ukraine should be given everything it needs to win. And Wagner, a Republican congresswoman from Missouri, noted that the Biden administration is not providing aid to Kiev fast enough. In addition, according to her, NATO countries should take a more active role in helping Ukraine and, in general, in ensuring the alliance. We must give Ukraine all the weapons and tools they need to defeat Putin. If the Ukrainians are willing to fight and sacrifice their lives, we here in America, as well as all NATO members, must support the Ukrainians with whatever is necessary and as soon as possible," she said. Democratic Congressman Jim Costa believes that it is only a matter of time before Ukraine gets fighter jets after the training. Regarding long-range missiles, Costa believes that Congress should continue to pressure the Biden administration at the bipartisan level on this issue as well. Earlier, American Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, while on a visit to Kiev, supported the delivery of long-range attacks missiles and cluster munitions to Ukraine as soon as possible, saying that this would bring the end of the war closer.